Hello everyone! Ever wondered how to make your Spark jobs more resilient and faster? Discover the magic of checkpointing in Spark and see how it can transform your data processing workflows. Checkpointing in Spark is a mechanism to truncate the lineage of an RDD, saving its state to a reliable storage to enhance fault tolerance and reduce recomputation overhead. A checkpoint is a method for storing data to disk during data processing usually required during long-running jobs or complex data pipelines. It reduces the data that is required to be recomputed in case of failure. Suppose there are multiple operations performed on a data frame. If any one of the operation fails in between, Spark will recompute the entire operations once again. We can add checkpoints in between these operations, so that if any failure occurs after the checkpoint, Spark will recompute the data from the checkpoint rather than from the beginning. In this example, if the final filter operation fails, Spark recomputes all the transformations from the beginning. However, if a checkpoint had been applied to the output of the map function, Spark would use the checkpoint data to recompute only the subsequent steps, rather than re-executing the entire lineage from the start. Checkpointing involves saving the state of RDDs to durable storage, such as HDFS, S3 or local disk, to reduce the recomputation overhead and mitigate the risk of lineage-related failures. Checkpointing versus caching. Checkpointing and caching are two different mechanisms in Spark that enhance performance and fault tolerance, but they serve distinct purposes and operate differently. Here are the key differences. Purpose. Checkpoint. Primarily used for fault tolerance. It truncates the RDD lineage graph and saves the state of the RDD to reliable storage, ensuring the RDD can be recomputed from the checkpoint in case of a failure. Cache. Used to speed up data retrieval by storing the RDD in memory or disk to avoid recomputing the entire lineage of the RDD every time it is needed. Storage location. Checkpoint. Writes the RDD to a reliable storage system like HDFS ensuring data durability. Cache stores the RDD in memory and optionally spills to disk if memory is insufficient. Lineage truncation. Checkpoint truncates the lineage graph, meaning the history of transformations that led to the RDD is no longer needed, simplifying fault recovery. Cache does not truncate the lineage graph. It keeps the lineage information making the RDD easier to recompute if needed. Usage Checkpoint Typically used for long-running applications where the lineage graph can become very large or where fault tolerance is critical. Cache Used when the RDD is repeatedly accessed in memory to reduce computation time. Fault tolerance Checkpoint Offers higher fault tolerance because the RDD can be recomputed from the checkpoint even if nodes fail or the application is restarted. Cache offers limited fault tolerance. If cache data is lost, the RDD needs to be recomputed from the beginning using the lineage graph. Performance overhead. Checkpoint incurs a performance overhead due to writing data to disk and potential network I.O., but this can pay off for long-running jobs by reducing recomputation costs. Cache generally faster as it keeps data in memory, but can lead to memory pressure and possible spilling to disk if memory is limited. When to use checkpointing in Spark. Breaking lineage for fault tolerance. Checkpointing is useful for long-running applications to break the lineage of RDDs. It helps avoid excessive memory consumption and reduces the risk of failure recovery issues by not maintaining the entire lineage graph. Iterative algorithms. Checkpointing is beneficial in iterative algorithms, such as machine learning training processes. It saves the intermediate state of repeatedly transformed RDDs, reducing redundant computations and improving performance. When not to use checkpointing in Spark. Short-lived jobs. Avoid checkpointing in short-lived jobs where the overhead of saving RDDs to stable storage outweighs the benefits. In these cases, the job completes quickly and does not require the additional fault tolerance provided by checkpointing. Sufficient memory and reliability. Checkpointing may not be necessary when there is ample memory 
and the application runs in a reliable environment with minimal risk of node failures. The built-in fault tolerance mechanisms may be sufficient in these cases. Here's an example of checkpointing in PySpark. In PySpark, you can checkpoint an RDD by calling the checkpoint method on the RDD object. You also need to specify a checkpoint directory where the RDD's data will be stored. I trust you found this video helpful. Thank you.